around the world, we celebrate the third Sunday of Advent. As the Latin of the church is officially called Gaudete Sunday. Now, Gaudete is a Latin word, Latin word which means to express joy and happiness. And the church believes that the best color that the priest should wear that seems like a happy, joyful color is the color road color vestment. And, and I say this every time I put this road color vestment on. I, I love this road color vestment. And for one basic reason, it makes the few gray black hairs I have left really stick out. It hides those rays. But it really means to be joyful and happy. But that's the struggle. The struggle is this time of year with all that you have to do, the baking, the gift buying, the gift wrapping, the sending cards, and all that type of preparation. Well, happiness is often elusive because the stress of life and the stress of the season it kind of has a way of just vanishing happiness and joy in your heart. And it turns out to be that the way we can acquire happiness and hold on to happiness, the way we can acquire joy and hold on to joy is when you seek the opportunity to help someone else out. When you lift someone up, be it a family member, a friend, or even a stranger. When you see someone need and someone in help, and, and you just stop, you, you put aside all that you have to do. And it turns out to be helping people never comes at a time that's convenient. Helping someone else is always typically inconvenient. But you have to say to yourself, I don't care if it's convenient, inconvenient, which it probably is. This person needs help, and I'm going to stop and help them. And when you do that, guess what the residual effect of that, of that is? Happiness inside of your heart. Joy inside of your life. And when you enter your home, you're entering your home with a joyful, happy heart. And that kind of just metastasizes throughout the entire house. It's a carcinogenic. It just, it just spreads. It's joyful. It's beautiful. We're going to watch a little video. This video, I think, expresses in a very beautiful way how when you lift someone up, when you help someone out, it changes, it can change that person in a positive way, actually then forever. Let's watch. The hours late should go to bed. You're bed night, I believe. Oh my God, my 
job, my children, my wife, would I be doing all the same thing I do with my life? Then comes a knock upon my door. It's late. Who could it be? Neighbor or Santa Claus come to visit me? The figure standing in the cold gives me a sudden fright. True, but with that solemn look, dear God, who's dying tonight? Flashing back to bygone years, how I'd often stood on someone's porch to bring him news. It was never good. Is this how life gets back at me for misery and abuse? Pain and cost of other folks has now come home to roost. Looking in the trooper's eyes, my mind is in a whirl. I see a pleasant countenance. The trooper is a girl. She smiled and reached to shake my hand, and silence wasn't broken. Tear rolled down her cheek. She softly spoke. I'm sure you don't remember me. I thought I'd stop and say, God bless you on this Christmas Eve. I'm the trooper soon. Unfortunately, the sound wasn't that great. But clearly, you idea that incredible California highway patrolman. When he entered one night and a gal had passed and he went to the gal's trailer and saw their little daughter, and he takes the daughter to his house. Eventually, she herself grows up to be a police officer. You see, the whole idea is this, is that in life, it is very difficult to find happiness. For many people struggle to find joy. And I imagine as you're sitting there this evening, you say to yourself, you know, there's only a week and a half left to Christmas, but, but where is that joy? Where's the happiness? It's elusive. And maybe in your house, there's more fighting and grumbling and complaining. Maybe someone's come to your house and they stopped after work to have a drink or two. So when they enter your house, they're not in the best of spirits. Maybe they're yelling and screaming. And kids running from room to room trying to hide from mom or dad who's ever the one that is in a fit of passion and anger. And you say to yourself, all I want this Christmas season is to be happy and joyful. One place we will always find happiness and joy is when we seize the opportunity to do good for someone else. To help someone else out to lift someone up, to stop your car when you see that someone is in need of help. Maybe you see someone walking along the 56 bypass. You see a car first along the side of the road and up the road about 1,000 feet, you see someone walking out of the gas can. And we can often say, well, that's a setup. No one's going to be doing that at 10 o'clock at night. I think you're right. No one's going to be doing that at 10 o'clock at night. Unless it's someone who just might need help. Because sometimes the person who needs help happens to be you and me and all of us. How nice it is just to put aside what you're doing and say, look, I think you need help. You need a ride to the gas station. And they might say yes. They might say, I don't have the money to fill up the gas can. And you might be able to say, well, I could do both. I could drive to the gas station and I get the money to put the gas in your gas can. And when you return them back to their car, you put that gas in your car, and the car starts off, up, and they drive away. And you get in your car. What are you going to have in your heart? Something that actually money cannot buy. You're going to have joy. You're going to have happiness. And it's going to last, not for a moment, not for a day. It's going to last literally forever. The message is simply this. On this, the third Sunday of Advent, Never miss an opportunity to do good, to be, to be kind to someone else. 
because it can change that person's life, not for a moment, not for a day, but it can change that person's life forever in a positive way. Please rise and let us together profess our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, 